Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. The Rams used the final piece of currency from that RG3 trade with Washington in the 2012 draft and selected Auburn offensive tackle Greg Robinson with the number two overall pick in this year's draft. The team is hoping it found the next Orlando Pace, and by all counts, Robinson was the highest rated offensive lineman on the board. However, he does need a, a bit of work. For now, he's actually projected to start as the right tackle, but will move to the left side in a year or two or whenever Jake Long's career is over. We can all see that why the Rams went with the linemen in the draft, considering they have to play the two top ranking defenses of the 49ers and the Seahawks twice a year. Even the Cardinals have a good defense in that NFC West. With their own first rounder, number 13 overall, the Rams somewhat surprisingly took Pittsburgh's defensive tackle, Aaron Donald. The wide receiver remains by far one of the biggest needs on the team. Tavon Austin was disappointing as a rookie, and now we're looking at Austin Pettis and Chris Givens as likely starters. That's not going to help Bradford out much. St. Louis also had a big need at the running back position. Zach Stacey is the projected starter, but he should probably be the number two. But that might have been filled with Auburn's Trey Mason in the third round. The biggest story of the draft, other than Johnny Manziel slipping into number 22nd overall, was when the Rams chose Missouri defensive end Michael Sam with the 249th pick. Sam is set to become the first openly gay NFL player. That's actually if he makes the team, of course. At best right now, Sam might be the third string on that unit, and there are only many, so many backups that the team can carry on an active roster. He's probably going to have to be in a special teams demon to actually get a spot on the team. The question is if the Rams will feel a bit of the pressure to keep him simply because of his sexual orientation. And you know that the NFL would prefer that Sam play in this league. Anyways, bookies have the Rams at 12-1 with the NFC West, but we believe that they finished third here. There are only a few other divisions that St. Louis could be good enough to win. Of course, that's presuming yet Sam Bradford stays on the field. But this one isn't one of them, especially not with the levels being displayed from the other teams. For SBR Forums The Vic, this is Dax Floyd.